The M23 rebel group spokesperson Major Willy Ngoma insists that they are peaceful and concerned about thousands of refugees who fled to Uganda. He also claims that most of the Congolese who fled renewed fighting are relatives of the M23. They said the DRC government has failed to respect the agreement signed in Nairobi between former President Joseph Kabila and the M23. Ngoma said that one of the key agreements was to form a joint special military brigade unit of four battalions composed of government forces and the rebel troops. Two battalions itatoka na M23. Two battalions itatoka kwa government ya Congo. Ya pili, tunasema jesh ya M23. Our soldiers wote watakuwa mkononi ya bwana Tiseketi ya rais. Makada yetu politik kada nao wataenda kwa bwana Tiseketi. Tulikubalia na hiyo. And even as all this unfolds the M23 claimed they never intended to take control of Bonagana and that government forces had first attacked their base. Lakini ajili ya kutujilinda ya security yetu tunaamua viongozi ya chama wanaamua tunashika ile mugini tupo hapo ndani ya Bonagana. The Uganda DRC border remains closed and business is at a standstill. Drivers who were on transit to the capital Kinshasa and other towns in DRC are stuck with goods on their trucks. But they are good thing. Uh, police just from Uganda, they are told us today to, they can take us somewhere to park and we are going to be saved from there. Meanwhile, authorities handling refugees say they need more support to meet the needs of the over 10,000 people. They are not needed to have more resources in terms of core relief items. I'm talking about blanket, sleeping mats, gel can, and also wash and shelter. We need more tanks in terms of water and also buses. Ugandan authorities confirmed to NTV that security at the Bunagana border has been heightened. <laughs>